Ooh, and it's beautiful out today. Look at that. You guys want to come out? Come on. You guys want to come out and run around? Hey, my man. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you got that one first. There you go, sweetheart. There you go, my baby. You're so cute. You, on the other hand, are a freaking jerk, dude. Look at your new cage, dude. Look at that. What do you think? Do you like it? Can't wait till you see this one day. That's how you were raised, baby. Hola, Rio. Buenos dias, Rio. Hello, Rio. How are you? Hello, my cute bird. Hello, my sweet boy. What's up, dude? Look at this cage, bro. You're getting upgraded today, son. Are you excited for your new cage, my dude? It's on the way right now. What's going on, guys? Welcome to today's video now see we got this freaking flooding situation going on and all this stuff is pretty temporary i've been thinking about a real cool way to redo this whole setup obviously all this stuff is very temporary because i want to do a huge aviary one day one day soon within the next year hopefully so all the birds can fly around in the aviary i'm just waiting waiting for matt to get on over here he builds all the cages for bush wildlife. He's gonna come, His, him and his wife wanna get tattooed. They wanna treat some work. He's gonna build me an aviary. It's gonna be freaking awesome. But until then, we still need to make this look presentable for people that are coming over to do tours. So what I was thinking, this whole area, the whole bottom of here, I'm pretty much, I'm gonna fill in with P-Rock eventually. So for the time being, I'm just gonna go order a bunch of cinder blocks from Home Depot. We're gonna put like, perimeter edges around these cages right here and put them on top of the cinder blocks fill it up with p rock so that way it can't flood over into the cinder blocks all right it'll all be elevated a good like foot or even two foot two cinder blocks high so whatever long that is i know this is iodine i was just giving remington some medicine this morning and i got it all over my hands anyways that's what we're gonna do over here we're gonna build these up with cinder blocks we're gonna fill them in with p rock eventually so that way this looks nice and presentable for everybody to come over here say hi to the birds that's totally fine he does that so rio is getting a new cage today he is our blue and gold rescue and he's a gentleman and i like to let him out during the day and he likes to play on his cage He's 14 years old. He's a fully flighted macaw, but he chooses not to fly. Eldis was his previous owner. He had him for 14 years, just like I said, and he said he's never even tried to fly. And he's a super sweet boy. I'm gonna just gonna let you hang out here. He just hangs out on his cage all day. He doesn't do anything. Super tight. We're taking care of a couple things around the property right now. We gotta feed the chickens and we gotta take care. I just took care of the cow and the goats and the stuff. We gotta feed a bunch of monitors today. Today's my day off. I gotta do all sorts of maintenance stuff. We finally finished painting the snake room. I am done painting. We'll do a walkthrough. Actually, I'll do a walkthrough right now and show you guys. The only thing I gotta do now is the flooring, which I have right here also. Floor and decor, baby. This is the flooring for the snake room. We're getting there. We're so close to having this freaking building done i'm excited Ooh, and it's beautiful out today look at that how dude it's just amazing bro but me and g have been working on this check this out Ooh, look at that. we got color in here baby oh shit check this out guys look at that Shit! there's the window so this eventually we're gonna build a cage into this wall we're gonna put a bunch of vipers or waggler's vipers or insularis vipers whatever the hell i decide to put in there this is gonna be a really cool enclosure that's in this room technically so that way this is just gonna be a nice viewing window when i'm working in my office right here and doing some little tatty zaps you know what i mean and then this is the whole snake room which is bro so much room and i don't know who remembers the boca house but yo this is like three times the size of the snake room that was in the boca house which is awesome and i'm not just gonna have venomous in here we're gonna have all the venomous in here obviously but i'm gonna put the albino water monitors in here so that way i can safely work with them i don't have to worry about them jumping out of the cage being in my garage jumping out of the garage losing them whatever it is they're very very expensive animals i do not want to lose them so i want to make sure when i am interacting and trading my animals that are in a nice controlled area where they cannot escape and get away so that'll be perfect in here we're going to be moving all the hog nose snakes all the false water cobras all of that stuff is all going to be in here also tight you guys want to come out come on 
You guys want to come out and run around? You guys want to run around? Come on, dude. Come on. Let's go. Let's run around. You're getting so big. All right, guys. Look how big these guys are getting. I like letting them out every day and just let them run around and be crazy, get their energy out. Because honestly, this is it's a pretty big area for them, but it's definitely not big enough for them to just run around and be themselves for a little bit. So I like to just give them some enrichment, let them run around here like psychopaths every day. Because look, look how fast they run. He loves it. Hey, Gary. How are you, sir? Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. So quick. I love it. Oh, dude. Otis, you are fast, bro. Holy crap. Look at that. See, they love it. Crucial for these guys. You can't just keep them cooped up in a little tiny pen all day. It's not fair. I want all my animals to be enriched and be able to wander the property and do their thing. Obviously, we got to stay out here. You got to supervise them. I can't just like let them out and go back inside, do my thing. Got to keep an eye on them the whole time. Make sure they stay safe. They don't mess with other animals. They don't go in with the cow and get kicked or something. You know what I mean? But I'm going to let them run around while I... Uh, clean their cage and give them some new food and give them some new water they poop and everything they're pretty gross their poop is absolutely disgusting it's not like a nice hard poop that's easy to clean it's this liquid diarrhea grossness it's nasty while we're waiting on tractor supply to get here with rio's new enclosure we're gonna feed bruce really quick what's up bro look like it's really hot outside dude it is real freaking hot outside. It's absolutely crazy. So let's grab a couple chicks real quick and feed my boy. What's up, dude? Hey, my man. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you got that one first. All right, that's okay. How you doing, Bruce? How you doing, my dude? Would you like this one too? Look, I have another one for you. There you go, sir. Yum, yum, yum. Hello. Beautiful. He's such an awesome animal. And very well behaved as well. He never really tries going after my hands or anything. He's a good gentleman. Well, would you like another one? I'll grab you another one right now. Hold on. Let's go back in here. Get you another little chicky chick. Oh, yeah, that's a whole one. Here you go. Here, dude. Look. Hey, right here. Here you go. Oh, he's so gentle. Look at that. I feed him with my freaking hands, guys. And those teeth are serious. It's a good thing he does not try going after my fingers because your boy would have a lot less. All right, we gotta do some more stuff here. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you, uh, what well, we got? Two more. I'll give you two more, cause I love you, all right? Thanks, bro. I hope you have a great day. Hey, guys. See, it gets a little flooded and gross in here, man. We gotta move everything in here. Everything is freaking crazy. We got some food for you guys, though. There you go, sweetheart. There you go, my baby. You're so cute. Bon appetit, all right? Sweet little thing. Look at her. You're adorable. You got mango all over your face, you sweet little precious baby. I love this animal so much. You, on the other hand, are a freaking jerk, dude. No, I'm just kidding. You're cool, too. Look, they both got mango all over their face. You got mango everywhere, bro. Is that delicious? Looks delicious. And just like that, it's a new morning, baby. Dude, I need my lawn guys to come. Look at this freaking grass, it's getting crazy. We were supposed to get this thing yesterday. It did not end up coming until super late in the day. So this is another cage just like this for our dude, Rio. I wanted to do everything yesterday, but that's not how things worked out. So we're doing it this morning, same video. This thing is pretty sick. Got it at Tractor Supply. These are the poultry cages that Tractor Supply sells. For those of you guys asking. This one ended up getting fairly cheap and a discount on because it's just got a little a bunch of little broken pieces on the corner which is not the end of the world it's definitely worth getting a couple hundred bucks off of the price of this thing because they're a little on the pricey side they're like seven hundred dollars yeah see this one this one's a little bent over here too and a couple things are broken but it's still not too bad i'm going to be able to take some pliers bend it back to where it's supposed to be and it'll still be escape proof for the birds and i'm pretty sure it's only those two panels so it's not the end of the world so i'm gonna get these panels out of here make sure nothing else is messed up on this cage well, let's get this thing put together look how easy these things go up so literally they're just panels like the other cages, the same freaking things. 
These are the side panels. They come with these little clamps. Really easy to use. Literally, you just put them next to each other, clamp them together. Super, super easy. You, you don't even need directions. You can literally just look at how these cages are built and built this one. We're already halfway done, baby. That was quick. I know, it's hot out here this morning. All right, we got four sides. Just got the door on. So the only thing we gotta do now is this roof area, but the whole thing. What was that? That was 30 minutes. In just 30 minutes, we put up all four sides, which is sweet. So, oh yeah, here's the uh, here's the info for you guys in case you're wondering what the hell this thing is. I think I might be locked in here though, actually. And they're not just for birds. You can use them for whatever. I got, I got friends that use them for their lemurs. I got friends that use them for all sorts of different mammals and chickens. Obviously they're made for chickens, but macaws, birds that can't get out of here. Like obviously if they're bigger birds that can't get out of these openings right here, they're perfect. Look at your new cage, dude. Look at that. What do you think? Do you like it? We're almost done. We just got, got this side up here. Just gotta connect this, see this? We gotta finish putting the braces on this side right here. But we're almost there. We're getting there. This thing, like I said, it's a, it's a discounted cage. So it's a little bent. We gotta kinda finagle some things to make it work and fit together properly. But dude, this is gonna be such a better enclosure than that thing. For my dude, Rio. Hey bro. Are you hype? Are you excited, bro? Are you excited, dude? I'm excited for you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Birds are so smart. Like, your dog can't talk. Your chihuahua can't say shit. Your cat can't say shit. Your snake can't say shit. Your lizards can't say nothing. But your birds, birds are where it's at, guys. Honestly, they're just... They're my favorite, for sure, out of all my animals. Rio, up, up. Hey, you don't bite me, sir. Honestly, I'd rather get bit by a lot of things on this property, besides the macaws, because they're crazy. It's terrible. It's a true kind of love to have these birds, especially when they're not nice to you, like this guy, Took. I've had Took for, what, eight months now? Nine months now? And he just wants to kill me every day. They're not very nice. Now that we got this enclosure set up for Rio, I have to decorate it, put some perches in there, put some food bowls in there, yada, yada, all that stuff. So we're gonna take out one of the bird perches that's in there with Taruk. Oh my God, would you guys shush? So I'm gonna take out this perch that's inside Tuk and Taruk's cage because they literally are never on it. I never see them using it, never on it, ever, ever. So we're gonna take that out, put it in here with Rio. Would you shut up? Put it in here with Rio. We're gonna go find some more branches and sticks that I have laying around the property. We're gonna put something in Rio's cage to make it super comfortable for them. Shut up! Hey, would you move out of my way, please? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hey, yo, yo! Relax, yo. Hey, hi! Come on, step up. Please don't bite me. Please don't bite me. Hello! I, hello, I just wanna be nice to you today. Oh my god, I'm so scared right now. They're way too close. <laughs> Come on, Tarook. Hey, leave her alone. My baby, you wanna say hi to everybody? Say hi, everybody. Hi, hello. I know, you're being crazy today. Macaws are crazy, especially this. Don't bite me, please, don't bite me. That's not, oh, not nice. Let's hurry up, put you right here. Ow, oh my God, oh, please. <laughs> All right, so let's quickly get this out of here. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh man. Dude, this literally sounds like legitimate raptors. Flip the dinosaurs out for some enrichment. Hey guys. Let them stretch their legs a little bit, run around the property at a million miles an hour. Right guys? Whoa! Gary, you're freaking fast, dude. I know. Don't try to eat all these rotten mangoes out here. We gotta. We gotta do some landscaping and clean this up, dude. Mango season, I'm kinda regretting having so many freaking mango trees. At first I was like, hell yeah, 15 mango trees. I got mangoes galore. That's gonna be awesome. It's actually not awesome because we can only eat so many and give so many away to our friends. Even if I were to set up a fruit stand in the front of my property, 
I would still have a million of them if we were busy. So just keep in mind, there are hundreds of mangoes all over the freaking property, which attract rats, flies, all sorts of other crazy creatures. It kind of sucks. Flies everywhere. It is a free, it's a blessing and a curse. Yeah, this is nice right here. Check this out. So what I'm doing is I'm taking these wood blocks and some really long deck screws just to secure these branches in here. This one's fine because it's going through the cage, but I just want to make sure they're nice and secure so they can't like fall over, especially with the bird in the cage. Hey, what the heck are you guys doing? What the heck's going on over here? Look at this. It's a pretty, it's a pretty neat uh, view right there. Can't wait till you see this one day. That's how you were raised, baby. Around all the boards, right? Right, guys? How you doing, Gary? How you doing, dude? Are you gonna peck my fingers? Yeah, you guys hot, right? Hanging out in the shade? Cool. All right, let me get back to work. Wrong bird. We got Spanish speaking birds. We got English speaking birds. We got Australian speaking birds. Dude, why my watch? I like shiny stuff. Right, dude? Hey, dude. Hi. So Gary is definitely the one that is like warming up the most. So he might be the male. Otis was supposed to be a male too. I don't know, they both might be males. We really need to get them DNA tested so we can see which one's male, which one's female. Maybe we'll make a little video about it. A little gender reveal emu video. Comment down below, who wants that? Look at that sweet baby doll. Oh, you are so pretty baby. God, that's the world's cutest baby right there. I don't care what anybody says. Right guys, you approve? She's a cute baby. Oh yeah. What's my? Oh, those are sharp nails, huh? Oh my God, my finger's bleeding. Oh, is a nice reel. Yeah, is we gotta. He needs a. Pretty. He needs a pedicure. He's got real sharp nails. Right? Your sister. You need a pedicure, dude. Ooh. Uh, he like sharp. wants to go on your hand. He won't go here. Come here, will you step up. Step up here. Step up, real. Up, 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 real. Oh. Oh, yep. He got you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. I hope you like your new cage. Do you like it? You like it, Rio? Huh? Hola, Rio. Awesome, dude. I am home. So much better than the cage that he's been in for a second. Look, he's got plenty of room. Oh, God, those nails are freaking insane. Close this so you don't get out. I need to leave you in here. He's been out for hours already today. I just opened up their aviaries, let him crawl out. Try to let Prince out. Prince doesn't really care about coming outside. And then, obviously, Taruk and her boyfriend. They can't be let out because they will just fly away and never come back. Troop might come back. I don't know about her boyfriend. Who knows? We're going to figure all that out in the future when we do the huge aviary. This is all temporary, guys. Even the bottom. I still want to do the cinder blocks around the bottom and then fill everything up with P rocks so that way it's not just like exposed dirt and rocks over here. Make it look really nice and tidy, easier to clean, no mess down below. It'll hopefully help with the flies and all that crap because all the mangoes and the flies, dude, it's freaking out of control. So, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, TylenolTattoos.com for all your merch, baby. Go on the website, get some new shirts, get some fun stuff. We got kids clothes, we got adult clothes, we got all baby, we got baby clothes now, we got all sorts of things. So go check out the website. Get something for a loved one or for yourself, all right? I really appreciate it. Helps contribute to Riders Ranch. And I am greatly appreciative for each and every one of you guys. Until next time, got another video coming out in a couple days. I'm trying to pump some stuff. I'm trying to pump stuff out as much as possible, guys. I need to hit the gas, get on a better routine. I gotta start, dude. I gotta do a lot of freaking things. All right. I'm a little too hard on myself sometimes, but we're doing pretty good. I need a, I need to move at a faster pace though. We need to get the freaking, we need to get the perimeter fence done. We need to get the chicken coop fixed. We need to get the tortoise enclosure relocated to a totally different spot for now because I hate when it floods over there. Then I have to put them in the brooders for freaking days at a time, wait for the flooding to go away and then put them back in there. Pain in the ass, not fair for my animals. Stay tuned for all of that. Until next time, love you, later. Peace out, God bless.